It is time. This is Infinite Investment. I'm talking about alternative investments and collectibles. This is not particularly investment advice, but if you listen to this, you will be a better investor and collector. And before we move on, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel. And if I get to four subscribers, um, I will do a card giveaway. I plan on doing UFC, but honestly, I'll give away some basketball cards. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a video, some videos in the future showing exactly what cards I'm going to uh, give away. And I'll do multiple cards and I'll make a, a specific video uh, once I have over 400 subscribers. And you guys will just comment below and I'll give the card away. Also. I am a graduate student at Yale University, and I do, um, a, I'm do i doing a PhD in neuroscience, and I do human decision-making. Um, I am doing a specific project on what physical pair characteristics make people interested in a particular item, um, basically how we give value to something off of its physical appearance. Um, and... I'm interested in doing this in collectibles, but I need to get other data. So that's why I'm going to do a survey. It's going to be with food, um, but it's going to help me out a lot. Um, I, it'd be interesting to see, you know, in the future, doing things with comic books or cards to see, like, what makes physical characteristics make cards so desirable and what kind of activity in the brain correlates with that. But let's go ahead and move on. So... This is insane to me. So Mark Zuckerberg has a rookie card. A lot of people don't believe me, but this is fact. 1992. Um, so this is the card right here that you can see of Mark Zuckerberg. Um, this is 1992 Little League baseball card. Um, the card is of a nine-year-old Mark Zuckerberg from Elmwood Bay. Camp in West Chance, Westchester, New York. Camp counselor, I believe it's um Ali, um, found it a few years ago in a box of memorabilia. Zuckerberg had given it away when he left the camp three decades ago, and now he's putting it up for auction as both a physical card and an NFT. This seems cool. Also, it's autograph, right? You can see it's like autograph here, Mark Zuckerberg. And there's only one of these cards, I believe. Uh, maybe there's a few more that was given out to other kids and parents. But that may be the only card. So it's probably going to be like a one-on-one. -on -one. It's authentic, graded, so it wasn't a physical grade. But this is interesting just because, yeah, it's a sports card. But, you know, we're in the speculations phase. And people are going to speculate on this card. And it's probably going to sell so much higher than what people would have paid for five, ten years ago. Um, also, Mark Zuckerberg is known, you know, he owns Facebook, he owns Instagram. Yeah, he talks about Mark Zuckerberg a lot. So I think a lot of people don't understand that, uh, like, hey, he's very relevant in our society. So that's something else to really think about. And when it comes to his card, I believe a lot of people think is going to have more value because it's going to have a bigger impact on the world. Um, we'll see because it's more of a pop culture celebrity kind of thing than a sports card. Um, and then here's another close up of the card. And this physical version will be bidded on in US dollars, um, while the digital copy will be sold using an Ethereum blockchain currency. The auction is set to take play sometime next month through comic connect um and and keep this in mind this is another trendy thing with nfts but also with cards so people who are in the nft space and the card space are going to be interested in buying these things um as a collectible and as a long-term investment um you know his career stats in little league is 0.92 career hitters which may be worth the purchase alone where I mean, the, uh, the auction is kind of a one-of-a-kind kind of a thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, really interesting. I, a couple things come to my mind. 
Um, one of the things that come to my mind is that people are more likely to use this as a way to hoard cards or collectibles or whatever from other people who may have owned it. Um, especially if, you know, they think a kid is going to be successful or he has potential to become very successful. Um, and you may see people who camp counselors, you know, coaches of teens may decide to make team cards and we'll see how that works. But, you know, who are to have the kids, you know, sign it, have a few sets made. And if they become successful, send it off to get graded and sell it and then also make an NFT of it as well. Uh, I think you're going to see people try to make an NFT from anything to try to make money. But also, I think something else is it, it it'll just be weird to see. Um, this is kind of be interesting to see how pop culture cards um, do long term as well. And we'll see how much this costs. I think this card is only going to be, I don't know. If I were to guess, I would say in the hundreds of dollars, maybe in the thousands, the, how crazy things are. Um, I don't think it's going to be a million dollar card or, or a hundred thousand dollar card. Um, could be, could it get to tens of thousands of dollars? Maybe. But Mark Zuckerberg, he's a well known entrepreneur, but I don't know how many people are going to spend that much money. Uh, maybe $5,000 $5, for the card, maybe 8000 10000 for the NFT. Because um, people, you know, get super hyped about this kind of stuff. Um, I'm surprised it's not being sold in golden auction or heritage, but hey, um, yeah, you just see, you may see more people just trying to find ways to make money off kids and speculating and doing things that way. But it's not an official card, um, and this will be interesting to see how things work in pop culture cards in the future. And yeah, I mean, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you else what else you want me to talk about. Peace.